I would have been opposed to us going into Iraq at the beginning. I said, we don't need to do this. We have the military surveillance capability to see Iraq roll out any weapons of mass destruction. If they do that, we can go in, we can address it surgically, militarily. I thought if we went into Iraq, we would find ourselves in a civil war to which there would be no end. Afghanistan, initially, I thought that was completely, totally warranted. That was about going in and getting Osama bin Laden and Al-Qaeda, and I think we are at war with Osama bin Laden and Al-Qaeda. But that was 10 years ago. They're not there anymore. I just think that the issues that we're going to face with Afghanistan, which I would advocate us pulling out of Afghanistan tomorrow, I just want to suggest to you that the issues we're going to face tomorrow when we pull out of Afghanistan are going to be exactly the same issues if we pull out from Afghanistan 25 years from now. That's what I suggest. At the end of the day, I think we're going to spend a whole lot more money in both of these areas, and even worse yet, a whole lot more men and service women are going to end up losing their lives. We're building roads, schools, bridges, highways, and hospitals in Iraq and Afghanistan, and we're borrowing 43 cents out of every dollar to do this. To me, this is, this is a new world reality. This is 2010. This is a new century. This isn't 70 years ago. We cannot continue to be the world police. Other countries need to share in this. I talked I talk yes, earlier about I talked earlier about free markets, believing in free markets when it comes to education, believing in free markets when it comes to health care. When the whole health care debate started here, holy cow, here is an opportunity to bring free market reform to health care, reducing prices for health care. And by the way, health care in this country could not be further removed from free market than it currently is. But the notion of free markets when it comes to health care, advertised pricing, competition, the government removing impediments for health care entrepreneurs that would want to enter into that space to deliver better products, better services at lower prices. I thought we were going to have health care reform. What we ended up with is health care entitlement. And by the way, I was on uh, Neil Cavuto shortly after the, um, shortly after the last election. And the word was, uh, should the Republicans want to repeal President Obama's health care plan? Well, I certainly agree with that. I completely agree with that. But I just thought, in the spirit of bipartisanship, that the Republicans should offer up a repeal for the prescription health care benefit that they passed. Woo! And they <laughs> Woo! It's really a shared responsibility for why health care is as regulated as it is. And Republicans, I think, share in that whole notion. But back to free markets and, uh, and health care. Imagine, imagine advertised pricing. When this whole thing started, um, I had envisioned gallbladders are us. Uh, clinics specializing in gallbladder surgery, doing it really well, at thousands of dollars as opposed to tens of thousands of dollars. We are getting on airplanes right now to go to India to have heart surgery at tens of thousands of dollars as opposed to hundreds of thousands of dollars. I had some stitches in, uh, in his house skiing a couple of winters ago, five stitches. It took the doctor about 10 minutes to do the stitches, and the bill was 750 bucks. Well, that's the price for stitches. I didn't know that. Uh, but if it would have been advertised pricing, if government would have removed impediments for healthcare entrepreneurs that would have wanted to open up a stitch clinic, I just have to believe that maybe there would have been one of those in Albuquerque. I'd put a band-aid on it, I'd have driven to Albuquerque and had those stitches done at 75 bucks as opposed to 750 bucks. I think that what we've ended up with is an insurance entitlement uh, um, program that is going to end up dropping 30 million more Americans on a system with no added capacity. In my opinion, it's going to result in rationing and higher costs. In a free market healthcare system, I would want to pay as you go. I'd like to see advertised pricing. And when it comes to insurance, I would purchase insurance to cover myself against catastrophic injury or illness. I think there still is the opportunity to do that. And free markets. You know, when TSA came down the pipe, when that when that thing was going to go when that thing was going to go active, I'd have vetoed that. I'd have said no to that. I'd have left that to the airlines. And, and I dare say that if we'd have left the airlines, Don't touch my job! I 
dare say if we'd left airline security to the uh, to the airlines, airport security to the airlines, that uh, that today it would be a lot less intrusive and that it would be as safe. I just think that we've gone so overboard, that we've gone so overboard when it comes to our civil liberties and we're just losing sight of the civil liberties that we are losing just on a regular daily basis. And I know a really um, hot button issue right now in this country is immigration and illegal immigration. And certainly Arizona has played a key part in all this, raising awareness regarding this issue. Um, I happen to think that, and I, probably, I don't think I'll probably get any disagreement on this, that immigration is really a good thing. Legal immigration is really a good thing. We're all immigrants. We're all immigrants uh, responsible for tens of millions of jobs. I'm just glad that Google is a U.S. company and not a Russian company. I'm not sure exactly how that came down, that we, that we didn't uh, deport uh, Sergey Brin somehow along the line, but he stayed here, and I think that that's terrific. I think that right now we're, we're sending back uh, Indian-educated engineers in this country to go back to India to start up their entrepreneurial enterprises that will ultimately employ tens of millions of people that could have been employed here in this country. Uh, but that's, uh, uh, again, this is something that I think that we can address in the future. So I think that we should make it as easy as possible for individuals that want to come into this country to get a work visa. Not citizenship, not a green card, but a work visa. And a work visa would encompass a background check and a social security card so that applicable taxes would get paid. Immigration also needs to be about work, not welfare. And then we have our own issue in this country right now about welfare. Are Mexicans coming across the border and taking entry-level jobs from Americans? Uh, no, they're not, because we as Americans can sit at home and collect a welfare check that's just a little bit less for the same amount of money to sit at home and do anything, so we, and do nothing. So we have, we have our own issues with welfare and welfare reform here in this country. And then regarding the 11 million illegal immigrants that are here in this country right now, I think you need to set up a grace period by which they can get a legal work visa. Not a green card, yeah. not, not, not citizenship, but a legal work visa, background check. We don't want anybody here in this country illegally, and we want taxes paid. When it comes to building a fence across 1,600 miles of border, I just think that right now we're bankrupt, all right? We're bankrupt and we need to be looking at solutions. And I've estimated the cost of that impenetrable fence, which I think is possible, at a couple hundred billion dollars. But add the, take, spend the $200 billion, put the National Guard arm in arm across 1,600 miles of border, I just think would be a whole lot of money spent with very little benefit. And then getting back to legalizing marijuana. Legalized marijuana and arguably 75% of the border violence with Mexico goes away because that's the estimate of the drug cartel's activities that are engaged in the trade of marijuana. Take the money out of marijuana, so goes the violence. 28,000 deaths south of the border over the last four years. If we can't connect the dots between money and violence, I don't know if we ever will. Prop 19 in California didn't pass, uh, but I thought Prop 19, for one thing, was really terrific because it put the topic of legalizing marijuana on everyone's dinner table for millions of Americans to discuss that they wouldn't have ordinarily done. I think the fact that it was on television every single day for months was also very positive. I think the issue does really well when it's talked about and discussed. But it was estimated that if Prop 19 would have passed in California, that the cost of marijuana would have dropped from $390 an ounce to $39 an ounce. That's taking the money out of marijuana, take the money out of marijuana, so goes the violence. I really appreciate the invitation to come here and be able to speak in front of all of you. I want to applaud all of you for your activism. I know that you're all activists. I know what the role that you play when you go back to work, play, family, friends. That role is, is that you're informed and you can, take up, you can take up the debate and the discussion on all these issues of the day. And for that, I just applaud every single one of you. And um, I'm just grateful to be here talking in front of you. I would not be here talking in front of you if what I was saying was being said by anyone. 
It's not, and I wouldn't be here saying this if I didn't think that it was important. Uh, there's no, there's no they out there uh, that's going to come to uh, our rescue on on these issues. It really is you and I, and I think right now there's an awareness in this country that the financial ship needs to be righted, and it needs to be righted now. And the significance of doing that right now will be that we'll be left with something very, very viable, which would be our country, the United States of America, which has always been about freedom and liberty and the personal responsibility that goes along with that. Thank you very much.